This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Hey, man, no, you're not a man. What could we even say in the place, Makam Nuchasai, the Chsam Soifer, in the whole history of the Jewish people? Did we ever have somebody who occupied three central positions in Klai Yisrael and he did each one? He was Mitzayin in each one. Number one, he was the Rav of Pressburg. He was the Rav of the Kihila. He was a great Rav for Kihilas. Pressburg. Number two, he was a great Rosh Yeshiva. He was the one who founded the Yeshiva of Pressburg. He, his whole life, his ambition was to begin to initiate and to found the Yeshiva in Pressburg. So he was a Rav, he was Rosh Yeshiva, and he was also the greatest Meshiv in the generation in terms of writing Shal Sechuvas. Never did we have somebody who occupied all three positions the way the Chassam Soifer did. Just to give you a little bit of a, a glimpse into one particular unique facet of the life of the Chassam Soifer that really, perhaps we could say, captures the essence of the Chassam Soifer. In the Drosh's Chassam Soifer, Daf Yur Ches, he says, V'hinei ze yoyser me'ar bo'im shona, to'ydo l'kel yisbarach, sh'loi nizbat lo yeshiva me'al shulchani afilu yom echad. That he did not stop teaching Torah for more than 40 years. In fact, Rav Shimon Soifer says, that he heard from the Chassam Soifer, that from the day he began to teach Talmidim, he did not miss one day that he was not Marbet's Torah, except for Tisha B'av. But even Yom Kippur, the night of Yom Kippur, the Chassam Soifer gathered Talmidim to teach the halachas of the Avodah of Yom Kippur. I want to share with you one question that the Chassam Soifer asks, that again will bring out this particular point of the Kaya Harbatzas Torah of the Chassam Soifer, Chassam Soifer, and many different Mekayimais, He's bothered by the following question, and you can almost feel the worry and the anxiety in the heart of the Chassam Soifer. He asks that if the Navi Yeshaya says that in the, in the future, the day will come, if the day will come, that Kulam Yadu Oisi Mi Ketanam, that if one day, Umala Haaretz Dea, as that everyone will know Hashem, ask the Chassam Soifer, so how will, be, how will we be able to make the mitzvah of Harbat Satayra? This is a question that occupies many different Mekayimahs in the writings of the Chassam Soifer. So in some places the Chassam Soifer says, well, it will be Mekayim, the mitzvah of Harbat Satayra, by teaching the Umay Yisraelam. Elsewhere he says, even the Umay Yisraelam will know Hashem. So he says, that in the future, Klal Yisrael will have to teach the Malachi Hashares. But you could see the worry in the heart of the Chassam Soifer. How will we be Bikayim, the most important mitzvah of Harbatsa Satoira? Chassam Soifer says in Parshas Kedoshim, What does Rabbi Kiva say? Amar Rabbi Kiva, Zekla Goda Batoira. Zekla Goda Batoira. Obviously, it's a klal in the Torah. Then what? It's not a klal in the telephone book. What do you mean, Zekla Goda Batoira? Says Chassam Soifer, when Rabbi Akiva says that Klagod he means as follows: It's Rabbi Akiva l'shitase. Rabbi Akiva's opinion is if two people are going in the midbar, and there's only one glass of water, so what does Rabbi Akiva hold? Rabbi Akiva says Chayecha Koidem, you take the glass of water; it belongs to you. So when it comes to Gashmias, we don't say V'yahavtal Reicha Kamecha. Says the Chassam it's a mistake to think you have to love your friend like yourself. It's not true. You love yourself more. Chayecha koidem. But when it comes to Torah, when it comes to Arbatzas Torah, then we say, V'yahavta l'recha kamoicha ze klal gadol davka ba Torah. Everything else we say, Chayecha koidem. When it comes to Ruchnias, you have to put, Klal so you have to put your friend ahead of yourself. This was the great ideology of the Chassam Soifer. Therefore, Rabbi Shimon Soifer brings in the Petuchei Chaysam. That the Chassam Soifer said there's only one individual in the whole Tanakh who's called someone who loves Hashem and that Hashem loves them. Avraham Avinu. Avraham is called Avraham Oyhavi. Why? Because Avraham Avinu gave up of, of himself, he gave up of his own Ruchnias to teach Torah to others. That's the greatest simon of Avas Hashem. And this is uh, the Torah that not only the Chassam Soifer was Mechadesh, but really epitomizes the life of the Chassam Soifer. Should be Zaycha, then the Smakam, all of our Tfilas should be Neskabel, Barachim and Baratzain. Amen. Amen.
just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.